So we're talking about anemia and as you can see we've got quite a few different types of anemia here and uh, this really isn't even the half of it. There's a lot more types of anemia but these are the most important conditions. So anemia basically just means that you have either a low number of red blood cells or a low amount of hemoglobin in your blood. So the three major types of uh, anemia include microcytic, macrocytic, and normocytic anemia. Now those, uh, those different types are referring to the average size of the cell measured by the mean corpuscular volume, the MCV. So uh, the, the normal red blood cell is between 80 and 100 um, on the MCV and so anything smaller than that would be microcytic anything bigger than that would be macrocytic so let's start with uh, the microcytic anemias why would you have a small uh, red blood cell well uh, usually it involves uh, making new red blood cells uh, and a lot of these different anemias have, have to do with dysfunctional production of red blood cells but uh, the first one here iron deficiency anemia it's uh, it's because of uh, a lack of iron which could be for many reasons whether you're not getting enough iron in 
or you're losing a lot of iron due to chronic bleeding um, or uh, you uh, are just uh, not able to make um, enough crud. So there's only two reasons why you wouldn't have enough iron. Uh, one of them is that you're not getting enough in your diet or you're losing too much. So this happens a lot with older people uh, that aren't eating well or it happens with uh, people who are bleeding a lot. You know, if you have a, a heavy menstrual period um, or if you're just using too much of it, like uh, during pregnancy you're using a lot of iron, that can lead to iron deficiency anemia. So if you have low iron, of course, you're not going to make as much heme. So if you're not making as much heme, then you end up with a smaller, uh, smaller red blood cells and, and a smaller amount of red blood cells as well. So the other thing that you often see with iron deficiency anemia is uh, the plumber benson syndrome, which uh, involves esophageal webs and uh, atrophic glossitis. So uh, you see those three things together, then iron deficiency anemia, esophageal webs, web, and atrophic glossitis. And then uh, alpha thalassemia is caused by a defect in the alpha globin gene. So uh, if, you, if you have less alpha globin synthesis, um, again, we're going to have... Uh, less stuff to make red blood cells and same with the beta thalassemia beneath it so uh, the uh, there's a few different categories of alpha thalassemia one of them is uh, if you have uh, um, just one or, or two genes um, deletion of one or two genes on the alpha globin genes then you usually don't show up with any problems but if you have three genes that are deleted then you're going to end up having uh, HBH synthesis um, HBH is, uh, is another form of uh, hemoglobin monomer and uh, so if you if you have a lot of uh, HBAs, if, if you have deletion of those three genes, then you get uh, HBH disease. Then if you have uh, deletion of four genes, uh, then that's incompatible with life. You're going to have formation of of uh, HB Barts, hemoglobin Barts, which is which causes high drops of fetalis. With beta thalassemia, you have the same kind of uh, thing. If if you have um, a heterozygote, it's not going to cause a whole lot of problems. But if you have a um, homozygote, then you end up with a lot more problems. So uh, then the diagnosis is is confirmed by a hemoglobin electrophoresis. With lead poisoning, uh, you're inhibiting the ferrochelatase, so uh, um, and the ALA uh, dehyd dehydratase, which also decreases heme synthesis. So pretty much all of these so far have been a decrease in heme synthesis. Um, and sideroblastic anemia is an, is no exception. It, it's a it's a hereditary defect in uh, delta amino levulinic acid synthase um, and so that's an X-linked deficiency and you treat that one with uh, B6 or pyridoxy. The reversible causes 